Hop the bobble doo doo doo, bring me sunshine. Bring me sunshine. In your smile. In your smile. Make me happy. Make me happy. All the while. All the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness. So much joy you can give to each brand new bright tomorrow. Yes, good evening, hello, good evening, and welcome. Welcome to episode 48, episode 48 of Jive Stream. The show must go on. Yes, and that it must. And tonight, you've had Skiffle Nights, you've had everything, you've had Bond to Elvis. But tonight, we've got a whole load of songs we've never done before and don't even know. Some haven't even worked out yet, but it's all for a good reason. Tonight is a maritime special. Hi, it's a maritime special, it's a pirate special. And for one reason and one reason only, and I'm sure he's really fed up with it. But because our special guest this evening is none other than Mr. Kevin McNally. And he'll be later here in smaller form. And uh, yes, we've got some stuff coming up. And anyway, Alex wants to ask you to like and share, don't you, Alex? I do, but you seem to have done it very well for me. Thank you very much. There you go, yes. Like and share. Share to your profile, share to your groups. Start a watch party. Tag your, tag your parts of, of the Caribbean friends and anyone who likes the turn. Any, oh, any, anyone, really. Anyone who likes Dad's Army. All that sort of thing. So, uh, bring me fun. Bring me sunshine. Bring me love. There you go, lovely, lovely. So anyway, you've all liked and shared. How are you doing, how are you doing? This, by the way, is, I believe, Sunday, in case you're keeping up with what day it is. It's a Sunday. You can little do a little tally on the wall so you know where we are. All right then, yesterday was Saturday. Tomorrow, apparently, will be Monday, if all things go according to plan. Uh, so as I said, we've got loads of uh, sort of tenuously linked... Um, <laughs> Actually, not tenuous at all. They're just downright sea and marine, marine time piratey songs, really. We've gone for theme rather than quality. Yeah. <laughs> Style over substance. Fun. Yeah, yeah, and fun. We're going for fun, basically. Have we got the, have we got the, um, the studio audience or not? Oh, not yet. Oh, we can't have the studio audience as we did last night until after... Uh, they haven't arrived yet. Mr. Joshua Gibbs, because... Because um, it's on the same iPad. It's the, the app is on the same iPad. Correct. Exactly. All right, then. So what we are going to do, we're going to start with a little bit of Frankie Ford with Sea Cruise. How's that for Maritime? in my shoes no use sitting and singing the blues be my guest you got nothing to lose won't you let me take you on a sea cruise ooh it, ooh it baby ooh it, ooh it baby ooh it, ooh it baby won't you let me take you on a sea cruise paralyzed jumping baby won't you join me please I don't like begging but now I'm on bended knees Gotta get a rock and I am playing line. I got a boogie woogie and I am crying. Did my best, you got nothing to lose. Well, won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Well, who it? Who we baby? Who it? Who we baby? Who it? Who we baby? Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Jumping, baby, won't you join me, please? I don't like begging, but now I'm on bended knees. Gotta get a rockin' like a high-end line. I 
I got the boogie woogie and I feel like down. Oh, be my bet you got nothing to lose. Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Who it? Who it, baby? Who it? Who it, baby? Who it? Who it, baby? Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Who it? Who it, baby? Who it? Who it, baby? Who it? Who it, baby? Won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Ah, uh, you go. I can feel the applause, I can feel applause. Some clappy icons, there's some clappy icons going up there. Oh, yeah. And little love hearts, it looks like Space Invaders, it's fantastic. Lovely. So Alex, who have we got watching, Mr. Commentator Tater? Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look in the who's in the house. We've got William from Lincoln. Hello, William from Lincoln. We've got Michael and presumably Charlotte and the little one again. We've got Shana from Vancouver, Washington, USA. Whoa. Not, not Vancouver, Canada. Forecaster in the house. Not Forecast. The for once, not the first to comment. You're slipping. You're slipping, Mike. Uh, we've got the Autises on both YouTube and Facebook somehow. Maybe they've got one screen for each eye. Um, Fiona. We've got Dawn from Chichester. Diane. Joy. Steve Frost and his amazing Doctor Who. Oh, we've got a very inter After we have Kevin on, we've got a very interesting Doctor Who factoid for you, Steve. Well, maybe we should tell him more. Oh, should we just tell, tell him more? Yeah, yeah, before. Go on, tell then. him. So the episode that you mentioned you watched the other day, which was the twin... Twin doctors. The twin uh, something. Uh, the twin uh, something. Uh, Kevin uh, Manali was in that episode. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin's nodding. <laughs> He's nodding. Uh, we, we have a... He's I'm having a virtual <laughs> nod. He's having a virtual <laughs> nod. We, ha we have an extreme Doctor Who fan on, and he just watched that episode the other day. He's literally, there's a guy watching called Stephen Frost who's literally binge watching all of Doctor Who, and every day he tells us An where update. he is in the, in the season. And the other day he was watching your one. So we've also got Mike uh, from Milton Keynes with the Concrete Cows. Over on the YouTube side, we've got Jack Savage is back uh, asking for Mac the Knife. Oh. Jack Savage is asking for Mac the Knife. <laughs> Yeah, that's it could be something in that. All right it? then. Uh, we've got Maggie from Norfolk, Charlie in Holland. He's back in Holland. Charlie. No longer, Charlie. no longer stuck in Bangkok. Hepcat sixty four from Portsmouth. Hepcat uh, sixty four and Gothic Card. What? That's someone's name. Gothic Card from London. Well, that's their YouTube name, so ah. I don't know what their real name is. Yeah, because everyone on Facebook's just got normal names, but on YouTube it's Hepcat sixty four. <laughs> Which means you were born in nineteen sixty four, or you like nineteen sixty four, or you are sixty four. Don't know. Anyway, there you go. All right, then. Now, uh, before we bring our special guest on, which is relatively soon, yes? Relatively soon. So that we, that we, we guess we're pretty near the beginning of the show. We know that you're, you're, you've only tuned in for this. Yeah. Uh, but we gave, as you know, we keep doing boogie-woogie challenges for Vince. Every, well, not every night, but quite a few nights. He's done everything from Stephen Foster to, uh, oh, no, the pop black theme turned into a boogie-woogie tonight. We threw at him literally before coming on, so we haven't even got. To, he didn't even have time to practice it. He's just written down the chords hastily, and we haven't even worked out something to play with him. So boogie woogie challenge, right? Boogie challenge tonight is Vince is going to play a boogie woogie version of the Pirates of the Caribbean theme in honour of the great Kevin McNally.
Wow. Oh, where's me? Where's me phone now? I oh, right. from, from, from the intro. I've got to say all the things. Here we go. Here we go. So, like, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the lovely. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I even wrote. I even I made some notes. I made some notes. So you may know him from Pirates of the Caribbean. We first, well, we first met. When we first meet you, we first met him at the, at the, at the um, after party of Valkyrie or Valkyrie, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, but probably doesn't remember. Anyway, yes. And I think it was then. I think it was there. And then at the, uh, at the Edinburgh Festival, where he was uh, doing Hancock's Half Hour, doing some fantastic, the, the uh, Hancock's Half Hour, the, uh, the lost thingies. The lost, the missing episodes. <laughs> the missing episodes. There you go. I knew it was something like that. I'm, you can tell I'm a good, I'm a good host. <laughs> And not only that, he was in Catherine the Great with Alan Mirren, a lovely uh, South End girl that we also met. Uh, Turn, <laughs> where he was filming Turn, and we invited him and the cast to come and see us in Old People's Home. <laughs> Which That's right. We, we prefer to call it a residence. <laughs> yeah, a, nice a residence, which was disguised as a theatre. <laughs> uh, but as, <laughs> as, it, as it was in America, it was more like an Old People's Town. It was. It was more like an old people's town, yeah. Um, which it was. It was. And uh, funnily enough, none of the rest of the cast have ever been to see us since. Uh, <laughs> and they're not speaking to you, probably, either. <laughs> hey, guys, come out tonight. You're going to see this amazing band. Anyway, uh, 1946 was a short film about Jimmy Stewart. Supernatural, uh, the TV show. Valkyrie, as we know. Johnny English and The Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, as well as oh, well, Dad's Army, the lost episodes as well. A lot of lost episodes going on. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, well, the lost actor, you see, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> like, was it Doug McClure, who was the actor that time forgot? Yeah. Uh, he killed himself. No, you are, you are a, a, a gentleman, a scholar, and a fantastic... Oh, I, I watch your Facebook page daily <laughs> for, for all, the, uh, all the interesting tidbits that go on. But, yes, it is an honour to meet you, not only... I'm sure that you're probably fed up with people mentioning Pirates of the Caribbean all the time, but... Um, Not at all. Oh, good, good. Because um, that's all I'm going to talk about. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I was gonna, well, it's oh, a maritime-themed evening, so that's quite right. Love the boogie uh, Pirates music, by the way. It was amazing. That, we Thank threw him much. at the deep end on that one, literally. Yeah, <laughs> no I think, pun I think intended. Zimmer might have something to say about it, but apart from that, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. We, we, won't, we won't tell him if you won't. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Anyway, quite possibly the best boogie woogie I've ever heard. Anyway, <laughs> so that was my, um, I don't know who that was. Anyway, that was my, <laughs> that, was my <laughs> that was my Jimmy Stewart. Oh, and I'm going to go. We are famous for doing what we used to call sweet FA, because this is a family show, sweet, sweet FA uh, impersonations, which are sometimes just close enough for people to guess who it could have been. And uh, that wasn't one of them. I did used to try and I did used to try and do you. I'm afraid. Oh, I'd love to see that. Oh, try. Hold on. Hold on. If I can remember it. Hold on. I've got to remember the line now. What was it? Uh, what boots ill for Jack? Boots ill for us all. That was terrible. Very that was a, good. That was a. Hey, that was a. Hey, that was a yeah, let's hear the real thing. Oh. Let's hear the real thing. What boots ill for Jack? Boots ill for us all. <laughs> <laughs> But I do one of you as well. Uh oh. <laughs> I wish I had my banjo. Oh. Ooh, be -do. I want to be like you. Ooh, 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 be -do, be -do. I don't want like you. Talk like you. you Hold on, oh, that's a bit close to the other impression. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I'm coming on to that one later. <laughs> that was the bow cry. Anyway, are you allowed to do that? No, you're not. Probably got German people watching. Sorry. Anyway, we have got people. Anyway, so uh, it's lovely speaking to you. There's so many things to ask. What I wondered is, you seem to be, uh, like a lot of uh, the creative people, seem to be, despite being locked in a room, seem to be extremely busy at the moment. Yeah, well, I mean, apart from doing podcasts like this, which I've done quite a few of, I was very fortunate that I don't know whether I, 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 I sussed what was going on, but just before the lockdown... I created a little recording studio in my study. Oh, wow. So I've been doing a lot of voiceovers and narrations for television shows, 
which only just covers my wine bill, but just <laughs> keeps me busy. What about the rum? That's all gone. There's no the rum. The rum went a long time ago, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, my darling wife has just bought me a nice glass of uh, rosé wine in a chalice, so oh, I'm happy. Oh, oh, well done. You realise people have been looking at that for a long time. <laughs> The Grail. That's the holy one, isn't it? Quick, guys, it's it the, the holy grail. grail. I, I knew there was something about it. <laughs> that's it why tastes you, good, isn't it? That's Sorry. why you never age, Kevin. That's what it is. There's a, there's a very, very difficult picture of me in the attic, let me tell you. <laughs> you should, I'll tell you what, you should Thank see you ours. all your uh, lovely messages on my 104th birthday uh, on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, no, that was weird. Again. All right, we actually sang to you. You probably weren't watching the live stream, but we did actually sing to you that night. I actually sang your version of When I'm 64 from your, uh, from your play. Oh, I know. Alex told me. And the sad thing was, I was busy, um, I was busy doing Washing a your hair. voiceover about um, woolly mammoths. So um, I couldn't oh, watch. Nice. Oh, woolly mammoths. Well, oh, fantastic. Woolly mammoths, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Um, yeah, here's the thing. Is there going to yeah. be another Pirates of the Caribbean? No, it is a funny thing. It is a funny thing. Oh, do a Hancock. I tell, I tell you what, the Hancocks oh, are. That, sorry about that. The Hancocks are. The Hancocks are found. The Hancocks, the lost, uh, the missing episodes. It was fantastic. Missing episodes, yeah. It was. I always loved Hancock. My dad brought me up on Hancock. Hancock and the Goons. And uh, I don't know. Was it? Does the Magna the Carter mean nothing to you? Did she die in vain? And all that, like, well, I can't do it like yeah. you. Go on, give it. <laughs> yes. Drink That's a party. Good, actually, very good. Go on, go on, go on. Give us a. Dear, oh dear, stone me, what a life. I don't agree with all this swing stuff. Wow. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, wow. It is. All it is those um... women watching them in their black stockings and their eyeliner, they look like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Hancock's off out. For all the Hancock, anyone who knows, anyone who's uh, like applauding and saying they recognise that, obviously you're giving away your age unless you were in, uh, unless you were of course in the Edinburgh Fringe watching, which was fantastic. It was a great show. Yeah, that was a good time, wasn't it? We had a ball up there. It was great. We actually have a couple of regular viewers of the show, of this show, who sat next to us while we were watching. That's them. right. That's where they first Is met that us. Right? Yeah, yeah. They first met. Well, they didn't meet us. They saw us there, didn't they? Yeah. They saw us there, and then I think they came to the show afterwards. But they, they that's how oh, they, fantastic. we first met them sitting next well, to them. you Hancock fans. Hey. And, uh, oh, fantastic. So what's, your, what's coming up next? What's your post-apocalyptic work? Well, I, I was about to shoot a little independent film just before it shut down. I might get into real trouble because they actually paid me and then they couldn't do it. So at some point, <laughs> they're going to ask for the work. Um, which is a really, a really nice sort of funny spy film, um, uh, which I'm looking forward to doing. Um, I, I then don't have anything after that, apart from that, I'm going to direct a little film, which is uh, nice, a really spooky, uh, like, ghost film, uh, which I'm looking forward to. But I also have a couple of uh, TV series coming out. I've got a, a wonderful European uh, show called Das Boot, which is based on the 1982 Wolfgang Peterson film in oh, which wow. I play a really uh, evil, uh, nasty American uh, oligarch. And then I'm in the fourth season of The Crown, so I'll be, oh, hey. I'll, I'll be selling those at some point. Um, but as far as lucrative work goes, I mean, this is my best paying night so far, and I'm not getting anything <laughs> from it. So. Oh, right. well, we'll have to do another, do another music video, and you can cameo. All right, I'll do that. That'll be great. And maybe pass the hat around uh, yes, during the yeah. shoot. That'll be great. Yeah, well, we'll do a bit of busking on the side anyway. <laughs> After we get out of here, we're going to need to. <laughs> we're well, I think a lot, of, a lot of us creative artistic types are suffering a little bit. But the great thing is, is that at least, um, you know, with what the, the, the great job you're doing during the lockdown and, and, and me being able to know my voiceovers, at least we can keep busy, which a lot of people can't do. So uh, I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, and no, it's definitely keeping us relatively sane. Relatively sane. Right. Uh, doing this every night. Although we didn't know how much work we had cut out for us when we said, let's do it every night. And suddenly we have loads of requests. Oh. That's, that's tough. That's <laughs> tough. What are you doing, if I may reverse this in the, the interview, what are you doing about um, uh, the gigs that you'd arranged? Are they, are they just postponed or are you just going to have to start again? 
Well, generally, that's what we're saying. We, we have a, a mo apart from the show must go on motto, the show must go on, um, hashtag, um, our other motto is no gigs are cancelled. They're either postponed or rescheduled. And so basically okay. we're going through them and nearly all of them, unfortunately, a lot of them like are festivals. So they're postponed to next year when the festival right. is. <laughs> when it would have been anyway. Right. Yeah. Uh, some but of them we're guys, doing... But you guys, uh, you guys work all the time. It must be incredibly frustrating not to be able to get out in front of a live audience. Oh, yeah. As you've thrived on for years. I mean... No, I feel fine. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. There's uh, a white some, wall in front of me. Get Ian's Valium now, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm singing to a white wall and a camera every night. It's fine. <laughs> it does wonders for the ego. <laughs> I'm sure you're all coping very well. <laughs> no, it is a bit strange. We were meant to be in America at the moment. We were on a three-week... three. -week, three what, four actually, week tour? Actually, like, we'd be back. We'd be oh, on the yeah, way yeah, home no, now. I, I was aware of that, yeah. Yeah. But well, anyway, there you go. So we'll do it sometime. But yeah, it is a bit odd, as it must be for you. But again, just trying to keep creative and doing things. Oh, one of the questions we always ask our guests, of which you are yeah. the third, <laughs> is um, we have a thing a little bit on it called Favourite Things. Uh, oh, don't, oh, no, he's doing it. They're doing the theme tune. We've got theme tunes for our little... I have to prance about this. I don't know if I'd practice. All right. So these are a few of my favourite things. So we always ask people and, and guess, what is your favourite thing, positive thing, about the lockdown, the quarantine, whatever we call it? Like for here, it's amazing. We go outside and there's no cars, there's no airplanes flying over and you can literally hear every bird sing and there's deer all over the road like not dead like running around for one for once <laughs> for once yeah running around alive well uh, my, my favorite thing is that i, I mean i've uh, you know I'm, I'm fortunate being a character actor i'm always busy so i've managed to catch up with a lot of shows i've wanted to watch and i've managed to read a lot of books that i've wanted to read uh, that's good. And also, I have no reason to say, well, I won't open that second bottle of wine. I mean, <laughs> why would I Why would I do that now? Are we talking third as well, or are we...? <laughs> uh, I think tonight, probably, yes. Um, it's also really nice to watch um, traffic wardens going around with absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> That's quite satisfying, actually. Oh, that must be brilliant. Except for they could stick things on the deer if they stopped too long. Well, we, we had a deer clamped uh, in Chiswick the other day. It was a nightmare. Staggering. Oh. Yeah, staggering. Very good. Oh, See, hoof it, will you? <laughs> oh, no, we, we, we need to do some panto, I think. Anyway. Oh, no, we I, <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> I think we're doing it right now. Oh, I think so, I think so. Yeah, I was going to say something else and it's gone completely out of my mind. Or well, like me. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, Kevin. Oh, the question. Um, we're going to combine celebrity calling and favourite things and competition time all into one handy segment. <laughs> and you were going to come up with a question for us, for our audience. Yes. <laughs> who you know, you know, who that, is this band? That, that's, that's exactly... That's, that's funny because that's exactly... What our reaction when we get to the point every day in the show it's what's the question like, every day <laughs> every day we don't remember what the question was the night before so we can't remember what to to, to get announced the winner from the night before and then we've forgotten to make up a question so we do improvised question making <laughs> basically so it's your well, turn I, I so, have thought of a question oh um, fantastic yeah. but what do they win by the way uh, they win one of our CDs unless you have something you want to get rid of in your house <laughs> Em <laughs> an empty wine bottle, for instance. If you could come and take the bottles, that'd be great. Well, I'm willing to chuck in a bottle of wine um, if we can find a way of, um, of, uh, of uh, passing it on in some uh, hygienic way. Oh, that's but my calm. question is, okay. it's a pirate-themed question, of course, what was Blackbeard's real name? Uh, great question. Well, don't say it if you know it. It's a competition. No, 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 There's no, obviously no. white moustache. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. 
<laughs> I don't want to be white moustache. I'm going to call myself black yeah, it's, not, it's not quite as menacing, is it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. That's, so, that's a good question. So that's we're, we're going to... We'll, we'll put those in a hat and draw them tomorrow. Put what in a hat? Will, will, the, people, the try to, will people try to give the name, on li the, the answer, online now? So yes. what, what they'll do is they'll put the answer in the comments. They've got till the end of the next song to do it, and then we take the names and we stick them in a hat and we draw them the next day. The ones that got I it. I got you. The okay, ones that great. got it right. So we won't find out now. No, no. We we always announce it the next day when we've forgotten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. So it's fantastic. So like I was going to say, so you were also in uh, uh, Legend with Tom Hardy. Legend, yeah, with the great Tom Hardy playing both of the Cray twins. That was. I, I'm sorry I didn't get to work with him. I had worked with him on a, um, a Wuthering Heights on the TV earlier, but it was great to be in that. And I wanted to play. Uh, Harold oh. Wilson. I used to do an impression of him at school and kids, which ages me a bit, oh, wow. uh, which uh, <laughs> amused my friends. So it was great to actually get paid to, to play him in that movie, yeah. Wow. And because uh, Charlotte Riley was in the Wuthering Heights with him, right? Is that? Uh, that's right, yeah, exactly, yeah. I think that's where they met, in fact. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, she used yeah to, it is. She used to sing with us. Is that right? Yeah, Charlotte I've Riley. I've never seen her sing with you, have I? Charlotte Riley, no, it was years ago. It was about that time, actually, probably. Charlotte Riley and her friends that they were at uh, drama school together, they used to come and see us, and then they started singing with us. They were called the Flirtinis. And um, <laughs> about that time, then uh, Tom used to come and see us, and uh, he'd sometimes be at the gigs in uh, incognito. incognito normally, <laughs> just to keep out of the way of the paps, out of the paparazzi way. Right. Yeah. But lovely, right. lovely couple, lovely couple. And, uh, I really, yeah, nice I, people, yeah, yeah. I admire the way that they're just like, not, you just never see them on the covers of every magazine, but everybody knows them and loves them. It's like, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I don't think that, you know, you, you get a lot of actors who get a bit of fame and instantly the first thing they think of is getting a, a you know, a publicity agent and then they're complaining about the fact they're in the papers all the time. I've never understood it myself. <laughs> it seems counterproductive. It yeah. does, doesn't it? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to have I, to... I um, wish we could afford a publicity agent. <laughs> oh, shush. After this, we can't. We've got I think bananas, you're making though. your own publicity right now, Thank guys. You. That's what you're doing. Thank you very much. So, uh, uh, hopefully it's good publicity and people will come and see us after the, after all this. <laughs> Shameless self-publicising. Well done. Oh, thank you very much. It's thank the only much. way. It's the only way. Exactly. Anyway, it's been lovely speaking to you. Unfortunately, we'll have to... Um, unless you want to sing a song... We've been trying to do this, but you can't because there's too much delay. Right. Yeah, it. yeah. It'd be great. But can you? Well, maybe you... if I, maybe if this goes on, I do it again. I could practice something with the ukulele. Perfect. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yes. Yeah. Even, all right. Well, we'll you come, could I'll come... come back. I won't do all this boring chatter again. Oh. Oh. What happened? Don't know. He's gone. What happened? He's gone. He said, time up. Put some money in. Get him, get him back while we do a song. Just say goodbye. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what he meant. He's not, putting, not going to do this, this chatter anymore. All right, what should we do? Is it under the black end sign? All right, then. Yeah, we're going to do a song now, which is from... Uh, we had a request. It's not written down who requested it. Who was it? Edwin? No, I can't remember. Uh, was, uh, from Because it's on the uh, Amazing Adventures album, and this is the pirate, which is all different things from the Pulp Fiction era, and this is a pirate one called Under the Black Ensign. Of course, the Black Ensign was the skull and crossbones, of which we don't have a real one, but this is Grazia's scarf <laughs> turned into a sort of Black Ensign. That was what it's called, a Black Ensign or Black Ensign. You can pronounce it that way, by the way, if it's a flag. And this is a song uh, inspired by the old pirate films and a book called Under the Black Ensign, and we're going to try and play it for you now. And even though we haven't done it since we recorded it 10 years ago. There we go. Under the back ensign. Go with your partners. Lots of R's. You want to live in twine. And the pure old navy's fine. Get flogged within an inch. 
for making an offer so flint shit so wonderful life to see but this name is not for me if a man can't have respect it's a pirate's life for me under the black and sign the buccaneers so free under the black and sign with honor integrity under black and sign it's a pirate's life for me under the black and sign it's a pirate's life for me It's not that I want to plunder, it's not that I want to fight, it's not that I want to leave the life I felt so right. When the Navy stops its killing, and a man can stand at last, I'll be there to take my post before or out the mass. Under the black and sign, the buccaneers so free. Under the black and sign, with honor and integrity. Under the black and sign, it's a pirate's life for me. Under the black and sign, it's a pirate's life for me. <laughs> Sail in the Caribbean after the Spanish fleet. The sun upon my back, rolling deep beneath my feet. I can feel the breeze excite me, and I never felt so free. To hell with a cat of nine toes, it's a pirate's life for me. Under the black and sign, the buccaneers so free. Under the black and sign, with honor and integrity. Under the black and sign, it's a pirate's life for me. Under the black and sign, it's a pirate's life for me. Play that pirate saxophone. Under the black and sign, the buccaneers so free. Under the black and sign, with honor integrity. Under the black and sign, it's a pirate's life for me. Under the black and sign, it's a pirate's life for me. Sail in the Caribbean, after the Spanish fleet. The sun upon my back, rolling deck beneath my feet. I can feel the breeze excite me. And I never felt so free To hell with a cat and nine tails It's a pirate's life for me Under the black and sign The buccaneers so free Under the black and sign With honor and integrity Under the black and sign It's a pirate's life for me Under the black and sign It's a pirate's life for me Under the black and sign The pirates so free Under the black and sign With honor and integrity Under the black and sign It's a pirate's life for me under the black and sign, it's a pirate's life for me. Under the black and sign. There you go, there's a piratey thing. That's our piratey thing, which we haven't done since we recorded on our Amazing Adventures album. Which is, by the way, what they're winning. Is that? Is that. Oh, he's back. I thought you were Hello, really you meaning it when you... Cut off there for a moment. I thought you just really meant it. You said, I'm not doing this chat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hey, you might I don't just... know what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. You know, it's a gay minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, out of all, all, your, all, all the stuff you've done, all the amazing, diverse... Uh, acting you've done and with so many different people, what would you say is stands out as being the the you know you, the thing that's most memorable, the crowning, thing you love the most? Crowning glory. Your... Well, obviously, Pirates of the Caribbean. <clears throat> I was 46 when I started that, and um, it, it it sort of took me into a different realm, you know, working worldwide rather than just wow. in England. But I'd have to say my favourite project ever has been recreating Hancock, wow. um, because I've loved Hancock since I was a kid. And like you, my dad introduced me to him in the, in the 60s. And um, it, it's been a joy. And I'm only sad that it's over, really. Uh, close second to that was doing the, the Dad's Army last year. Because it, it, it's lovely to be able to do... I mean, it's just like you guys. You're doing something that isn't... Uh, you know, the, the, the love you have of a, of a past music that you're bringing yeah. to a modern audience to date. And, and I love doing that with comedy. So... Um, Th those would be up there in my favourites, I think. Kevin, is it, is it right that the, there was a filmed version of the Hancock? There's a TV movie of one or two of the episodes? Uh, just one. Uh, just one. There's the, uh, you can get it on I, um, BBC iPlayer, and it's called The New Neighbour. Right. And we, we made that a few years ago. Um, I was hoping we could make more of the lost TV episodes, but 
I think the problem is with Dad's Army, um, there are people of a slightly younger age than us who remember the Dad's Army. But as far as the Hancocks are concerned, they're people of my age and up, and I don't think they want to spend the money to uh, gratify us for that. But maybe <laughs> one day someone will say, you know, that's that's a good market. Let's do some more of them. I would love to before I get too right. old. And I love the fact that they, they darkened my hair for it. So I feel <laughs> a few moments. I remember the guy who played Kenneth Williams was absolutely spot on as well. He was incredible. Oh, Robin Sebastian, uh, uh, what a fantastic, fantastic Kenneth Williams he does. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Mr. <laughs> In that TV show, we had uh, John Culshaw playing... Uh, Sid James. And he was very good. He was very like Sid James. It was great. <laughs> there you go. There's another See, I one, Sid James. I should play all of them, really. Yeah, there you go. Do, you could just do your own radio podcasts. Just doing all of the... Yeah. What a marvellous idea. Great, like if I can get Alex to show me the technology, I shall do it yourself. I don't know. It, might, go. Cut, it might cut out in the middle. I you don't, don't know. I think, <laughs> I think you should do it yourself. Yes. There I was, standing there. I don't know. Anyway... That was fantastic. <laughs> all right, I don't want to. I don't want to say goodbye. You know, I just want to come. They go. Can we just talk to him all night? Or maybe he can just stay there. Oh, he's probably got more recording. He's probably got more. More important things to do. Oh, we can do a song. We'll he's got the other bottle. There, of he's got you... the other bottle of wine to finish. Oh, he's got another <laughs> bottle of wine to finish. Well, okay. Well, uh, I felt like Bruce Forsyth. Yeah, I, I'm going to. Um, I'm, I'm going to be a little too squiffy to keep talking. So, um, <laughs> I wish you all the very best of luck. Well, and nice. Do get me back on with the ukulele. Absolutely. All right, definitely, we'll do that, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin McNally! Thank you, the guy Love you guys. Say love see to the soon. wife, love to your wife, and uh, we'll see you later. Certainly will. Thank you. Cheers, Kevin. Bye-bye. All right, then. All right, here's another one we don't know. Oh, we're doing that one, are we? Well, we don't know that either, do we? <laughs> Ken doesn't, we haven't. Not everyone knows this one. So here we go, it's all sea, beyond the sea. Naval. Everything, all's naval. There's a lot of naval going on. And it doesn't mean the midriff is showing. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships. Like go sailing Somewhere Beyond the sea She's there Waiting for me If I could fly Like birds on high Then straight to her arms I'd go sailing It's far Beyond a storm on the moon I know beyond a doubt my heart will leave me there soon we'll meet I know we'll meet beyond the shore we'll kiss just as before happy we'll be beyond the sea Never again I go sailing now. As before, happy we'll be beyond the sea, and never again I'll go sailing. Ah, no more.
your ceiling Ceiling, 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 ceiling There you go. Another bit of C. Oh, clappy, clappy. Oh, I did it, but I think you muted it. Oh, no. uh, I was expecting the audience. Go on, he's muted it. Anyway, he's getting the app there. We'll get some. We'll get the studio audience in again. All the uh, all the butlers and uh, all the other servants and everything. As you know, it's like Downton Abbey. Um, they'll all be in Jive Manor. We we'll call it. All right then. So uh, just with no further ado, should we do the other song? Yeah. Do the next song. Oh, let's do the competition. Oh, we got to do the tr Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's competition time. <laughs> competition time. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's competition time where all your dreams come true. That's right. And the question last night was, Alex, you've forgotten again, haven't you? So have you. So have I. That's why I ask you. Yes. But you asked me before I asked you, unfortunately. Exactly, yes. Well, exactly what what Ken, Ken knows, knows what the question was. Ian Fleming. Oh, yes. We did the Bond. I gave the question, for God's sake. There you go. We did the Bond um, uh, from Russia with Love. From Russia with Love. And the question was not, what is the name of the film that that song was from? Because that's a little too easy. Uh, the question was, Ian Fleming, the author of the original James Bond novels, also wrote another story which got turned into another famous film also with a car with gadgets in what yes. was the name of that film yes. and the name of that, that film story was chitty chitty chitty, 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 chitty bang, bang bang, bang. exactly no, 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 no. so i'm sure bang, bang. <laughs> i'm sure they get it just from the rhythm yes <laughs> um so we changed so by survey by survey we Bosh. did that we did that uh, poll a few days ago um you wanted because people were like not able to join in on f on YouTube and stuff because we were doing the first in the comments on Facebook. So we changed the way we, we do the competition. So what we're doing is now picking all the right answers. So you got basically, after we ask the question, the length of the next song, all the right answers in that time get put into a hat and then we pick out live on air. So it literally time, is. All the right orders, all the right, all, all the right, right answers, but not necessarily in the right order. So, uh, but unfortunately, I went through all this trouble to write out all the names, cut them up, and nobody on YouTube actually entered yesterday. No. So because they'd given up, hadn't you? Speaking to you, but Kate, now Kate, YouTube, Kate Martin, who kept complaining that she couldn't enter. Um, so you can enter now. So if YouTube don't keep doing it, then we'll just go back to the old way. Let us know. But we did a little poll. We did a little poll, and uh, and and all that. And um, and she loved it. No, she. Uh, so here we go. It's not a lot of them, is it? He's won again. He's won again. Oh. Well, <laughs> even when it's done this way, it's Alan Wheatley. <laughs> Hold on a minute, I'm going to see what, what the other ones say. No, they're all different. Alan Wheatley, Alan Wheatley, Alan no, Wheatley, no. Alan Wheatley. I wrote them out myself. Um, how many copies of this same CD do you want, Alan, for goodness sake? All right then, so Alan Wheatley, you won yesterday's competition. And you won yesterday's competition. And the winner of tonight's competition, I can't remember the question. Uh, well, it was... Kevin McNally's Kevin's question. question. Yes. It's fine. It doesn't. You don't need we to. We only need to know by tomorrow. Anyway, no, no, they, no, no, no. It's by the end of the last song, so people have already entered. So oh, they've already entered. So there you go. If you weren't listening, I'm sorry. And then we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Uh, and if you don't like the way we're doing it, let us know and we'll change it back. But there was a poll, and everyone wanted to do it this way so that the YouTube. Hey. He still won. Hey? He still won and Alan Wheatley still won. It doesn't matter what you do. Alan Wheatley still wins. Um, there you go. <laughs> Best of three. Yeah. All right then. So we've got the competition tomorrow, and now I think we'll do uh, we we'll do another song about uh, sort of sea and stuff like that. Literally never done this before either, um, and we'll see how it's going to go. We're going to do sort of a, a, a Big Joe Turner inspired version of Red Sails in the Sunset. Yep. Hey, not too fast, not too slow. Come on, baby, here we go. Red 
Sails in the sunset We out on the sea Oh, carry my loved one Home safer to me She sailed at the dawning All day I've been blue Red sails in the sunset I'm trusting in you Swift winds you must borrow Make straight for the shore We marry tomorrow And she goes sailing no more Red sails in the sunset We out on the sea Oh, carry my loved one Home safe to me You must borrow Make straight for the shore We marry tomorrow And she goes sailing no more Red sails in the sunset We out on the sea Oh, carry my loved one Home safely to me Oh, carry my loved one There you go. Somewhere between Big Joe Turner and Crazy Kevin. He did it, he did it. Hey? Studio audience have arrived. Studio audience have arrived. Come on, give us another studio audience for that. That was worth it. There you go. Aren't they, aren't they content? They're lovely. Look like it's Italian time to me. Ciao, grazie. Buonasera, Ian, come stai? Eccellente, grazie. Come siamo? Siamo buone, siamo buone. Voi come siete? Come state? Tutto a posto? I'm asking them if they're all right. I can't hear anything. <laughs> okay, so um, birthdays today. Oh, yes, yes. So today is uh, a very special friend's birthday. We've known him for a long time. Him and his wife, who's gone now, but anyway, we're still a very good friend, and we love you very much. It's Peter Meadows' birthday! Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Peter! 83. 83. Biggest, we yeah, will yeah, see you favorite. soon. The biggest Keely Smith fan in the world. That's right, yes. Okay, so, and then um, there is another birthday and her name is Donna Pagnello, and she is the, wi uh, the wife of Mark Waterton. So, oh. Donna, happy birthday! Are you Italian? I don't know, but let us know. That would be good to know. Aguri, aguri. Aguri, aguri, tanti aguri. And the next one is a birthday for Alex to announce. Yes. I hope she's still watching and hasn't fallen asleep or gone to bed, because it's past her bedtime, but it is her birthday. So I hope her parents let her stay up. But my niece, Mia, is eight years old today. So happy birthday, ah, Mia. Happy birthday, Mia. <laughs> okay, so that's for the um, birthdays. And now um, I don't have any, you know, very much any, any announcement to, to, to announce. But I do have something uh, interesting, a piece of history. And, uh, we've, you know, we've been talking about, you know, music from the chantes and sea songs and all that. So and as I play the accordion... I thought I would let you know, Ian, and these lovely people watching us, that the accordion was invented by Friedrich Buchmann in 1822 in Berlin. Wow. But he called it back then, it was called the Handeuline, which means for the hands, something to do with the hands. And then in 1829, seven years later, 
Cyril Damien added some buttons on the left hand and called it accordion because that means chords. So you can do chords on the left hand. So there you go. That was the story of the accordion. Wow. Sorry. I didn't yeah. know it was German originally. Oh. Yes, well, but there is an English story to, um, um, well, an instrument in the same family of the accordion is the concertina or melodeon. And that was invented by Sir Charles Whitstone in 1829. Yeah, so I will give you a demonstration of that instrument very soon tonight. Ooh. Education. For the first time, hopefully everything's gonna be working out all right. So there you go. That's my announcement for tonight. Buona sera. Buona sera. Ciao. See you in a minute. All right then. So amongst all this trying to do maritime pirate themes, we had Vince do the pirate boogie. We learned a whole host of songs we've never done before or some we haven't done for a long, long time. Can you tell? And we said to John, can you do, an, uh, can you create an R&B version, a sax R&B version of the hornpipe? And he couldn't, so we're not going to do that. Um, no, he could, so he's going to do it right now and we'll see how it's going to go, what he's come up with. John, that worked, didn't it? A R&B saxophone version of the hornpipe. Even got some applause from the uh, the butlers and the servants. Fantastic, thank you. Oh, amazing. Stick that on the next album, whatever the next album is. If we ever get to record it, don't worry, we will. Don't worry, we're halfway through it. It'll be called Live from the Red Brick Studio. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if nothing else, we'll record a live album here. Or we can uh, just, we can sell this series of, of, uh, of concerts. Have we got any things for people to say? Are we going to run out of time otherwise? No, 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 just carry on. Carry lots on. Oh, lots right of then. claps, lots of claps. Now, people loving it, people loving just it. Just for fun, any, any good comments on that? Anyone while I'm getting lots this on? Claps, just lots of claps. All right. Come on, Grazia, join in, join in. Oh, look, she, the first time she's ever played this. this is isn't. So that's a melodeon, is it? That's a melodeon. Wow. 
Let's see if it works. Now, we don't know this at all, and we haven't worked it out. We thought, why don't we, as we're going we're gonna to end on... <laughs> we're gonna, it's definitely going to be the end. We're going to end on a... Uh, on my golly, is it on What brand? we thought is doing a skiffle version of Drunken Sailor. As we're in a maritime piratey sort of a feeling. And we're going to see if it works. If it doesn't... Sorry. It's too, it's too late, isn't it? It's too late. So uh, I can't remember. Uh, I did have an idea earlier on... What was the... Uh, I had the idea of an intro, didn't I? What should we do with a drunken sailor? 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 What 
Was. That was a skiffle version of uh, Hooray and other whatever it is. Thank you very much for tuning in to our Maritime Pirates special, ladies and gentlemen, where we had the amazing Joshua, Joshima, I can't even pronounce it, Joshima Gibbs, my first mate. Anyway, what Bodil for Jack, Bodil for us all. He did it a lot better than me, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow night. 8.30 p.m. British summertime. We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again. Yes, I know we'll meet again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ta ta. Ta ta. Toodle pip. Cheerio. Cheerio. TTFN. TTFN. Tallyo. See you later. See you later. So, long. so long. Well, I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for pointing up with us. Thank you for Kevin McNally and his wondrous chat. We'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs>